This video is brought to you by Just Cause 4. Strap into your wingsuit, equip your fully customizable grappling hook, and get ready to bring the thunder on December 4th. If Transformers can get four sequels and counting, then these movies definitely deserve another shot. I'm sorry. I didn't know that it was that it was you, you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 action movies that should have a sequel. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the action films that are most deserving of a follow-up film. Since we'll be diving into explosive events of the original movies, a spoiler warning is now in effect. Did you miss me? Number 10, Zombieland. Time to nut up or shut up. Our first visit to Zombieland showed us a world overrun with the undead. Instead of being a bleak tale of survival, the film struck the perfect balance between grim and hilarious. Its great ensemble cast, featuring Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, and Bill Murray, made it the highest grossing zombie film at the time. Despite all of its positives and a script ready to go, there hadn't really been solid plans for a sequel. Amazon did order a pilot for a Zombieland series, with none of the original actors returning but the adaptation ultimately wasn't picked up. That said, Harrelson mentioned during a 2018 university talk that another Zombieland film is being made. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't believe I shot Bill Murray. Number nine, Shoot 'em Up. My God, do we really suck? Or is this guy really that good? Are you tired of action films taking themselves too seriously? Then we've got an over-the-top gem for you. Shoot 'em Up followed a man named Smith who protects a baby from being assassinated by thugs. Although it sounds dark, the movie is filled with ridiculous action scenes, absurd deaths, and excellent one-liners. Eat your vegetables. Clive Owen's Carrot Eating Smith is a fantastic parody of the serious action hero. Unfortunately, his performance wasn't enough to save the movie from being a box office failure. But in a time where funny action films like Deadpool are huge successes, Mr. Smith could return with more carrots and classic one-liners. Talk about shooting your load. Number 8, Chronicle. What am I looking at? Chronicle isn't your average superhero film. High school students Andrew, Matt, and Steve develop superpowers after stumbling into a mysterious cave. It's a blast to watch them test their abilities until Andrew starts using his powers for evil. Dude! The story is shot like a found footage film, giving their conflict a unique and realistic feel. In the end, Matt is left as the sole survivor, while the source of the powers that tore them apart remains a mystery. A sequel could follow Matt, searching for answers or focus on a new character like the original writer intended. Either way, this chronicle could use another chapter. I'm gonna find out what happened to us down there. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna get answers. Number seven, Salt. The name of the Russian agent is Salt. Heavily Salt. The action genre could use more badass female leads. In 2010, we got one in the story of a CIA operative, Evelyn Salt. After being named as a Russian spy, she has to run from old friends and new enemies. Whether the unstoppable Salt is making fantastic escapes or shooting everyone down, watching her work is a constant thrill. Unfortunately, the great action was buried under a confusing story where Salt's a sleeper agent who murders the Russian president, but not really, and you know what? Forget the whole plot. Just bring back this heroine in a simpler movie with more shootouts and crazier escapes. <laughs> Number six, Atomic Blonde. <laughs> Set during the Cold War, Atomic Blonde follows an MI6 agent named Lorraine, infiltrating Berlin to protect spies from being exposed. Despite being a great spy herself, she often has to fight her way out of tense situations, and it's phenomenal. The fights are brutal, with Lorraine getting as bruised and bloodied as the men she takes down. Each clash is quick and relentless, leaving you unable to catch your breath for a second. It's all tied together by a strong performance by Charlize Theron as Lorraine. With strong box office returns and solid reviews, there's plenty of reason to see this explosive spy again. Fasten your seatbelt. Number five, District Nine. What is up this We need answers. Sorry, let's start at the beginning. In District Nine, Aliens become stranded in South Africa when their spaceship stops working. They seem destined to remain on Earth until an accident starts to mutate a man named Vicus into an alien. But I don't trust it. You know, I don't trust anything that's... <laughs> in order to turn back to normal, he agrees to help an alien named Christopher get fuel for the spaceship. The duo mows down their enemies in bloody, frantic sequences. It all pays off when Christopher reaches his spaceship. But will Christopher ever return? Will Vicus be stuck as an alien? 
We've been dealing with this cliffhanger for years now. Let's hope it takes less time to finally finish Ficus' story. Number 4, Two Guns. What did you say? Don't worry about him. Two Guns cast Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg as career criminals who try to steal from a cartel. But in reality, they're both undercover agents at different organizations. The plot wasn't the most innovative, but there's plenty to love. Smart action scenes, funny dialogue, and the chemistry between Wahlberg and Washington all make the movie a fun trip. In your hand, is that a badge in your hand? <laughs> With a sequel, they could add a third gun to the mix and steal from something bigger. Can you imagine Nicolas Cage joining the cast and helping them steal from Fort Knox? Wait, we may have just come up with a plot for National Treasure 3. Make it rain. Number 3, The Nice Guys. <laughs> a PI and an enforcer get sucked into a murder mystery in the adult film industry. It sounds like the setup to a joke, but it's actually the plot of The Nice Guys. The comedic and complex mystery brought a lot of laughs before and during its action scenes. Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe are naturals as partners, making every one of their scenes together a joy to watch. You're in the pool? Yeah. Why? I had to question the mermaids. Despite lackluster box office returns, these nice guys were a breath of fresh air for the genre. And while a gender-bent TV series called The Nice Girls is currently in the works, we'd still love to see Crowe and Gosling return to the big screen. You know, nobody got hurt. People got hurt. I'm saying I think they died quickly though, so I don't think that they got hurt. Number two, Baby Driver. Fast and Furious has some serious competition. Baby Driver follows a young kid forced to use his amazing driving skills to pull off heists. The movie won us over right away with its offbeat humor and soundtrack that's built into the plot. You know you scratch, just like a monkey. Yeah, you do. But then it sealed the deal with practical and heart-pounding car chases. All this led to a breakout summer hit that earned over a hundred million at the box office. Seeing as Baby survives the movie and John Bernthal's villainous character might have survived, a sequel could pit those two against each other. But to be honest, Baby could race through a red light and we'd pay money to see it. Before we thrill you with our top pick, here are some action-packed honorable mentions. You're fired. Number one, Dread. Mama is not the law. I am the law. Don't get on the wrong side of the law. Dread takes place in a distant future where men and women called judges deliver swift justice to criminals, and that justice is bloody. Fire! The action scenes are filled with gore, huge guns, and extremely inventive use of slow motion. Carl Urban is perfect as Judge Dredd, coming off as intimidating and three-dimensional, even from behind a mask. Who ever heard of shoot you? Despite the awesome marriage of character and violence, Dredd was judged harshly at the box office. There have been some talks about a Dredd-themed Netflix series. However, we think this judge deserves to execute his next big tale on the big screen. You ready? Yes, sir. You don't look ready. This video is brought to you by Just Cause 4. Strap into your wingsuit, equip your fully customizable grappling hook, and get ready to bring the thunder on December 4th.